talk about Flutter. Our vision for Flutter is something that many of us have been dreaming of for years. A powerful, general purpose, open UI toolkit for building stunning experiences on any device, embedded, mobile, desktop, or beyond. There are four characteristics of Flutter that we think make it a unique platform for you to build native mobile application experiences. Firstly, Flutter enables you to build beautiful apps. Flutter provides a rich palette of tools that give you control over every pixel on the screen. Secondly, Flutter is fast. It's powered by the Blazing Speed Skia 2D graphics engine, which enables hardware accelerated graphics. Thirdly, Flutter is productive. Flutter introduces a revolutionary new capability for developers and designers to iterate on their apps in real time. And lastly, Flutter is open. Flutter itself is open source, open for contributions, open for extensibility. Every line of code is available for you to read, fork, extend, amend. Put all this together and you have Flutter, a framework for building beautiful native experiences for iOS or Android from a single code base. So we built an app uh, for this event. It's uh, called The History of Everything. And I'm going to give you a little tour of the app. This is because Flutter compiles ahead of time to ARM code, right? So there's no JIT to warm up. There are no scripts to parse. So let's take this a little further. It's nice to have scrolling, but how can we turn this up to 11? So I'm going to zoom right past dinosaurs, because it turns out nobody likes dinosaurs. I can sway the tree above of Newton. And here we have an iPhone from 2013, so five years ago. And again, it runs just fine. But can we take it a little further? Uh, let me zoom in. Oh, is this an actual Google map running inside my Flutter application? while it's being swayed around, <laughs> you know. Sure. We've seen uh, an application that I think is beautiful uh, that was built in three months by three people uh, that is fast on a wide range of devices and that because of the openness of Flutter can do cool things like this. I'm so excited to tell you today why I believe that Flutter is the perfect platform for executing pixel-perfect designs. Right now, good design is expensive. The designer hands us something detailed and beautiful, but we push back on what makes it special. We end up compromising on the details that make our experience excellent. So with the best of intentions, we say we'll get to it later. But let's be honest, later never comes. We've looked closely at what developers need to execute complex, high-fidelity designs on the devices of today and put it at their fingertips. We can ship the app we really want with detail and polish and fewer of those painful compromises. These are reusable widgets designed by the Material Design team here at Google. We released a major expansion of Material, making the system more flexible and expressive. You also get Cupertino, a faithful implementation of Apple's iOS design language. Cupertino gives us action sheets, alerts, segment controls, sliders, nav bars, switches, over two dozen widgets that look like they came right out of UIKit, but 100% open source. If I have a question about a text field, I can go look at its source code, and you can't do that with private APIs. Flutter makes executing beautiful designs easy. Flare bridges the gap between designers and developers. Designers are at last able to fully participate from beginning to end in the development of an app, creating interactive content that can evolve along with the rest of the app. Where Flare really shines is at building complex animation systems that are really easy to control. We have full support for bones, constraints, and inverse kinematics. As you can see, Flare removes the churn between design and development, and it really allows you to make great design a fundamental part of your process. I'm really excited to announce that Flare is launching today on twodimensions.com, and it's free. 
What we want to do is show you something a little different, what it's actually like to build a Flutter app, um, what the developer experience is like. I wanted to build a retro clock because I love my 70s chic. And I wanted to showcase the fact that we can use so many different features with our uh, mobile phones. So we're going to be building a photo app because interactive timers are the best. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a stack. And the reason I'm using a stack is that we can layer widgets on top of each other with a stack. And I'm going to start with the wood grain. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, dear me, it's wood grain. Yes. And there we go. We have a card, which is kind of boring. So let's make it a little more framing. So I can give it a shape. And I can give it a border. And whoa, there we go. Best clock ever. Emily's done some funky math to basically say every time um, we hit uh, zero on the seconds, take a picture. And so we have managed to squeeze in stacks, columns, rows, and list views. So we're going to style up the time, and we're going to make it not look super modern. We're going to go Art Deco. So you see that? If you tap the button, you can see the text will change. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Say cheese. cheese. Oh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> Woo! I would like to show you something cool that we've been adding to Flutter. As you can see here, we have an avatar of me. And just like the Timeline app, the design and animation has been provided using Flare. Close my eyes, tilt right, and left. It updates in real time. We believe the economy is better when everyone has access. No one should be left out because the cost is too high or the technology too complex. We started with a little white reader that let millions of merchants participate in the economy by making it easy to take credit card payments with your smartphone. Now, we've been following Flutter since the beta, and we're impressed by how it enables developers to quickly create beautiful and performant cross-platform apps. That's why today, we're so excited to announce two new plugins for Flutter development. The Flutter plugin for the Square Reader SDK, and the Flutter plugin for the in-app payments SDK. Collins Family Orchards is a fourth-generation family farm, but they wanted to build an app to accommodate the specific needs of their growing business. This app helps them take and track payments at each farmer's market they go to. So let's say today that I'm at a farmer's market in Bellevue. Great, and I'll enter the amount to charge, and then I'll click charge to start the transaction, and I'll insert my card to take the payment. Great, and the payment was accepted. Now when we look at the list of transactions for this location, we can see the payment that I just took right there. The Flutter plugin for the Square Reader SDK is available today, and the Flutter plugin for the in-app payments SDK is available for early access. So I'm proudly presenting you our brand new product code magic and I'm going to show how easy it is to set up the whole pipeline to build your Flutter apps on code magic. It's very easy, you just kick off the first build, you see the whole process here on one screen. So as I'm on Slack very often then of course I want my notification to end up in Slack channel so I have chosen here that I want to know when the build starts and when it fa fails or when the artifacts are published. Okay, so you see that it's currently building the Android app and alre already you can open up the steps to see everything what's going on here. You can also actually duplicate your workflows. So, you know, I'm convinced that Flutter plus Gold Magic is the fastest route to get your apps to the hands of your end users. So I invite everybody to join and sign up at codemagic.io. It's free, it's live now. <laughs> Flutter was not conceived as an SDK for iOS and Android. Our vision for Flutter is to be a portable UI toolkit that can go wherever you need to paint pixels. The Flutter engine is inherently cross-platform, and it can be embedded in all kinds of hardware. We believe Flutter is a useful building block for these kinds of embedded scenarios. Another very practical example of how we are already going beyond mobile is Flutter desktop embedding. This is an open source project that enables Flutter apps to run on Mac, Linux, and Windows. And in fact, when we were putting this presentation together, we were thinking, how could we make our slides as beautiful as possible? So we built the entire presentation in Flutter. There's one other place we'd like to go with Flutter that really demonstrates the groundbreaking potential of this technology. We're calling this Hummingbird. And it's a port of Flutter that runs on the modern standards-based web. Here's a simple mobile app that we've been running on an Android tablet. And everything you're seeing here 
is Flutter running on a desktop web browser. Importantly, it's the same Flutter code running in this browser as on the phone. In the meantime, we're publishing right now a blog article that describes more of the technical details behind Hummingbird. And we'll have a lot more to share at next year's Google I.O. conference. So finally, and really the whole reason why I'm up here, is to say a big thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your day to celebrate with us. Flutter has always been, and always will be, a community effort built together in the open. No one company or one team can reach all of the places we want Flutter to go. So we close with our hats off to that community. The stories like we're about to show you give us the motivation to continue each day in this mission. Thank you. Thank you.